Hey guys, my name is Fritz. Welcome back to another Maker Pen Advanced Tubing. Today we are going to be going over the basics of the new Maker Pen UI and explaining the uh, things that you'll need to know for the next tutorials coming up uh, within the next few weeks. So yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so let's start off very basic while going into our menu right here. We immediately see the Create tool, the Select tool, the Wire tool, Configure, Transform, Move, Rotate, Scale, Clone, Recolor, Freeze, Manipulate, and Delete. Today, we're going to be going over the Create menu. Just on the right here, you can see it has a scroll wheel and it shows a whole bunch of stuff just down here. But before that, we're going to want to go over to Palette on the bottom left and cl uh, click Tube. On Tube, after selected, we're going to want to go to the right side again in the middle tools and then press create now as you see on the right side here they have actually perfected making this nice um, UI so it's all organized into these little sections the first uh, section we have is create tool settings second is uh, create tube settings third is snapping settings circuit and debug which we won't be going over and general settings now let's start off up here on the top, we're going to go to create tool settings and this is where it actually shows all your uh, things to help with creating the tubes and everything uh, as such. So like the create grabbable objects, I usually have mine off due to uh, most of my stuff being terrain and other prop models. Create shape mode, I put that on scale for the best setting. Uniform shapes right here. This allows you to draw straight lines and without any curvature or bending of like joints. Scale shapes with player. I usually keep that on and it only applies to uh, self scaling as you can see down there. Now that is all we have for create tool settings. It's pretty simple. Radius. Now for the next one, it's create tube settings. This is where stuff gets a little bit complicated. As seen, we can actually show on the right side, I'll have my tube example right here tube radius actually shows the how big it is and the size of it so as you see it just became pretty small there when you bump it up to 0.08 it becomes a little bit larger then up here it starts to get up to the larger scale and then one is massive I usually like to range between one uh, 0 0.125 and 0 0.250 down below you see tube height scale in tube height scale that allows the bending and as you see it gets a little bit thicker on the sides and eventually if you scroll up to one it'll create a direct cube or anything that you have on the next setting which is going to be facets facets are the amount of joints you have on each object so for say we have a four joint right here that will mean it's a direct cube as you see four joints the more you move it up, and the more circular it gets until it gets to 10, which is almost a perfect circle. And there you go. Now if you scroll down once more, you'll get to see the tube uh, tube analog mode. This allows to for VR players to actually press down on the trigger and have it to scale the size up and down to liking. I usually use this whenever I'm doing mixed mesh to uh, like terrain and stuff like that or mountains this is very handy now if you have it off or on raw it just does to the exact amount that you put it for the tube height scale and uh, radius now smooth tubes is pretty self-explanatory makes it very smooth makes it very blocky <laughs> now all the way down here we have connect nearby tubes this actually is a very useful thing and I shall create the thing right here an example as you can see right there, I have a little flat square, one joint, and this allows it to actually connect another joint to it, just like that. So you can go off and off and off more and more and more. Now for this next part, we're going to start in the snapping settings on grid. Uh, preferably, I usually keep my stuff on grid unless I'm doing terrain. Uh, for prop modeling and stuff, it becomes very useful for fine details or anything like that. Um, I keep it on top, you'll see it right here where I'm pointing, grid. Now, here in the snapping settings, 
pull that menu down by clicking it and you'll have this position snap and it's by meters. So for me, I keep mine on one usually uh, or 0 0.5 because I do lots of fine detailing. But the more you move it up, the more blocky it gets. And as you can see, you can create straight tubes along like that. Or you can go all the way down and create very, very defined, nice angled tubes. So I can actually go up, down, or sideways, unless you want to keep it like this, and then up straight blocky. There you go. Now, rotation snap allows the amount of rotation that it can actually take from a like Y and X standpoint. So the Y and X axis is from sideways, like this, or X is on a side meter, like that. Coming closer. Now for these next parts, we're gonna just be showing the show grid, scale grid with player, and snap to center. I usually keep this snap to center at all times. Pretty self-explanatory, so uh, snap to center. Scale grid with player is only when you're self-scaling and it applies to showing uh, the grid basically going up and down so it's the exact detail every single time. So the grid will get bigger and smaller. And show grid just allows you to see the grid when you're going and making stuff. So yeah, let's move on to the next step which is general settings. First off, we're going to see the show all settings. This is going to show every setup, of course. Um, show gadgets without maker pen. So like, if you go into other rooms, you'll actually see the gadgets and CV2 that is all around the map and the stuff that they use if it is visible. Next, if you want to uh, show these do not rotate while moving, that means if you move, it will not rotate at all. It'll keep on that grid. Smooth out tube twist while moving is a very useful setting. Um, use um, menus with maker pen, pretty self-explanatory, and that's about it. Now finally at the very bottom we see the delete everything. This deletes every single thing in the room. We're gonna go ahead and collect that real quick. And it shows literally everything is gone. Hi there's me. And yeah, that's about it. Just want to say thank you all for watching the video and taking the time out of your day to start to learn a little bit more about Maker Pen and the new UI. Um, also just wanted to thank you guys for uh, getting me here to this uh, tier 3 going all going on. Uh, it may have took like a while, you know, but we're back in business. Um, Starter finally said that it's okay to get everything back up and rolling. So yeah, uh, thank you all so much and peace.